Yeah. All right, what's up, guys? As you can see, I'm already sweating here from working out. But I'm gonna show you a quick video of uh, how to improve your soccer skill, especially your dribbling. So we're starting off with some simple, some simple exercises here. What you wanna do here, you can either have a five by five square here, see where my cones are at, five by five, make it four by four, three by three, doesn't matter, as long as, uh, as long as you have sufficient space to dribble around. So all you need is a ball on yourself. Put yourself in the middle of the square. Come closer, little ball. First touch, use a whole area around the square. First moves, you can be dribbling around the square using the inside, outside of your foot. So you can use inside every touch and every, every step is an inside, outside. So inside, outside, dribbling around. Do that a minute each for each foot. After the minute for the left foot, you go into the right foot. Eat a minute each for each foot. After, you can incorporate different moves. So each move I'm gonna show you for like five seconds just so I can show, put in a lot of skills here. Next move can be inside, outside, both feet though, for a minute. Good. After that one, you can do as Adriano says, tic tacs, tic tacs. So this will be inside the foot, foundations. Insides, insides, like this. We can go around the whole square, inside, inside, inside. As fast as you can. As fast as you can for a minute. Once that's done, you can move to the next. We can go in soul rolls. So we go like this. We can go one foot, start off with the left foot. Soul rolls. A minute each foot. After that, you move on to the right foot. Next, we can do stop and goes. Go around the whole circle, the whole square, sorry. Stop and go. minute each foot or if you want on that one you can do one minute for both feet doesn't matter because whatever you feel comfortable with, just change it up a little bit next one we can do drag backs but you want to use the whole square the whole square do both feet on that one a minute each the reason why I say a minute you get as many touches as many skills moves as possible in one minute as fast as you can this will be very tiring, but it's the best type of workout here. All you need is a five by five square here. Yeah, like I said before, three by three or four by four. Next move, you can do the L turns. Dribble around, dribble around, L turn. Both feet. What's up, what's up? Sorry here, we got a bunch of guys here coming to the turn. I got levels. Sorry about that. So next one, like I said, L turns, both feet using the whole square. After that, we incorporate scissors. Scissors, both feet, for a minute. For a minute. Next, we can do step overs. Do that for a minute. If you want, after that, we can incorporate toe taps. Going around, moving. For a minute. Both feet. A lot of moves can be used inside the square. So it's very good to do any move you can think of or the moves I'm showing you right now. Next one we can do a Maradona. I do both way turns. I turn one way, I turn the other way. But if you're used to turning one way, practice and match. Master that skill first, turning one way. Next, we incorporate different moves, as in little Ronaldo chop. After that, for a minute each, both feet. After that, we can move into the Cruyff turns. A minute each foot, a minute, a minute together for both feet. Now, if you want to get a little bit more of an exercise, we can go back into just a dribbling little baby touch with the, with the laces. You can dribble around each cone. So for example, 
This will change your agility. This will have agility incorporated to your skill moves. For example, I'm going to use my left, right, left foot only. Next one, I can use my right foot, or I can use both feet at the same time. We can start off going around a cone. Here we go. Do a pullback after every move. Even, even incorporating moves in between those, those little running sessions. Go run to a cone, do a scissor. You go to another cone, do a step over. Do an L turn. So there are a lot of moves here that I just mentioned in this video. But try to master those skills. And then later on, you can progress even move into more challenging moves. Those are the basic ones to get you moving forward onto the next harder skills. A harder skill can be the little snake. For those of you who feel comfortable, go around, do a snake. You want to use both feet. Next one, I call it, or I don't even know what I call it, I don't call it anything, but a soul roll with the chop. Both feet. Those are, little challenging, more, those are little challenging moves that you work your way up from the beginning moves that I was just showing you and you move off from there. So that can be a 20, a 20 minute exercise, 30 minute exercise, but that will definitely improve your skills and, and get your game up. Thank you and I hope you guys watch that.